Hi, my name is Bombo, and this video is about a Ford Bronco Sport Badlands. For those of you who just order the Bronco Sport Badlands or Outer Banks or whatever trim level it may be, could be a big band, I know you're excited about it. I was so excited of getting my Bronco Sport, and when I was driving it, I was kind of overwhelmed a little bit on the gauge clusters and what those little icon mean. But before we begin the video, I will get you excited with this little short clip about the Bronco Sport. This thing rips! Oh, it is so quick. There's a lot of punch packed into this Bronco Sport. <laughs> it's got a ton of horsepower, I love it. Right, so now we're getting the hair, yeah. now we're getting the fun stuff. Yeah. I like how we can get over or around almost anything. Yep, we dig it. It's gonna be a good day. It's keeping up. I love that you can change those while you're driving. Yeah, you can switch to all the goat modes on the fly. It's great. Let's rock crawl here. Yes. Are you sure the campsite's up here, right? <laughs> yeah, it's just around the corner. I think we set up here. Heads up. Let me charge my phone. It's wireless, right? Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, and do you have the tool for the bike? There you go. Big day tomorrow. Can't wait. There we go. Let's see here. Oh, it's a little tight. I love how this trail control manages our acceleration and braking. We'll just keep an eye on where we're going. You're good. You're good. How's he looking back there? Good. What's up, bro? Look at this view. <laughs> so fun, yeah, right? I to know. climb up here. You know the great thing about the Bronco Sport? You can get it with the accessories built right in when you buy it. That's like it's custom built for your lifestyle. Yeah. Ah, you can see the reservoir over there. Nice. I can hear it. Yep. I love the camera. You don't even need a spotter, right? <laughs> the water's gonna be beautiful, don't you think? Oh, yeah. We're in the middle of nowhere. See, it's only roads like this that get you views like this. That's a great point. I think we found about the best spot. Yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. What a weekend. Epic. I don't think we could have picked a better time to be out here. Or a better rig for that matter. <laughs> That video was very cool. Also, it kind of shows you a little bit on what features that's pretty much out there. You can see it uh, during the commercials and the stuff that a lot of YouTubers actually cover. What I will cover though are features that you might not know about and also some of the accessories that I actually bought for my Bronco Sport. When you look at this video of my Bronco Sport, you can actually see the accessories as well that I was able to add on it using my Ford Rewards Pass. There's actually two of them only. First one is the bug deflector. The second accessory that I added was the roof rack crossbars. So you can mount different things on them such as a bike rack or a cargo basket. All those I was able to get using my Ford Rewards Pass. Another thing I added was the screen protector. It was, it was something very, very inexpensive in Amazon, so it doesn't scratch the screen. All right, so let's start with these features. The first one is the global window. On your key fob, what you need to do is press the lock button once, and then press the unlock button first time and the second time you hold it and the windows will roll down. Next feature is the navigation system. So when it's on using the actual native navigation system, regardless of what screen you see here, if you have your radio playing, it will interrupt it and it'll show you the directions on top of what you already have 
on your console. So right now it tells me at 0.4 miles, I gotta make it right. Also the same in my actual console. If you can see, there's a Bronco Sport icon on the center of the dash and just disappeared. What it means is your car is actually detecting a car in front of you and if the distance is far enough, it just disappears. If you get too close, then your car would automatically apply its brakes. This button right here that's on, we had a hand signal on, it allows you to pull up on a car in a full stop and you can let go of the brake pedals and it's not going to go anywhere, as you can see. Next feature we have is the auto stop and start. If you see that green icon lit up right there in the top left corner, which means your car would automatically shut off its engine when you're at the stoplight. And as soon as you hit the gas, it's just going to start it up again, as you can see. Alright, the next feature is your lane assist. So when you're driving and you kind of bear off to the left lane, your car will automatically detect it and it will steer it back to center your vehicle to land. As you can see in that yellow line and with the arrows on the left side, it will control your vehicle and steer you back in the middle of the lane. Really cool feature if you ask me. But you have to keep your hands on the wheel or else it's going to give you the warning sign. It's also going to give you vibrations in your steering wheel. Final feature we're going to talk about is if you have your car in drive and you open your doors, it will automatically put your vehicle to park. Those are all the features that I've found so far. If you find this video very helpful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing so I can make more videos like this. My channel is all about making contents that could help you guys out in everyday problems. Thank you for watching. Once again, my name is Bombo.